At common law, if an intentional killing was committed in a heat of passion, induced by adequate provocation, then the killer was liable for voluntary manslaughter instead of murder. But some states have moved away from common law heat of passion in favor of statutory defense for extreme emotional disturbance, which, if proven, can reduce a killer's liability from murder to manslaughter. In State v. Elliot, we explore the differences between heat of passion and extreme emotional disturbance. One morning, Robert Elliot forcibly entered his brother's house. After threatening his niece and sister-in-law with a gun, Elliot shot his brother twice, killing him. Elliot was apprehended by police shortly thereafter. He was charged with murder. As a defense, Elliot claimed that he committed the killing under the influence of an extreme emotional disturbance and therefore shouldn't be liable for murder. A psychiatrist testified that prior confrontations between the two brothers had caused Elliot to develop an overwhelming fear of his sibling. The psychiatrist also testified that at the time of the shooting, Elliot's fear was exacerbated by other circumstances, such as child custody problems and the loss of his home. The trial court instructed the jury on the defense of extreme emotional disturbance, stating that it applied if a defendant acted in a frenzy of passion arising from provocation that would have caused a reasonable person to lose self-control. The jury concluded that Elliot's situation didn't satisfy those requirements and convicted him of murder. Elliot then appealed to the Connecticut Supreme Court, arguing that the jury instruction erroneously described extreme emotional disturbance as if the same as heat of passion.